All right, let's move on to another game that our Connor Mack is looking at. Durham, North Carolina. North Carolina Tar Heels at Duke Blue Devils. Duke, 2-5, and 1-5 and five in the ACC. Our man, John Ryan, was bullish on Duke against at Charlotte 49ers, and that was an easy 53-19 win. North Carolina coming off its second loss in three games, 44-41 at Virginia. Let's see what we are dealing with here. North Carolina opens up at minus 10. Now they're minus 10 and a half, and there's total at 64. Connor, what are you seeing? What's your angle? Yeah, I like how Duke played. Even those games they lost, um, that was a pretty big statement. They whipped uh, Charlotte, uh, John Ryan was on. I like what they've seen. Even that first game against Notre Dame, and I don't like what I've seen in North Carolina. They've been – how I, after such a great year with Mac Brown and what he's been doing, um, I got to take the 10-and-a-half here with Duke. I just a double-digit dog. This is one that kind of stuck out to me. I want the points here. I guess North Carolina is going to come out pissed, but they, they've they just been not the team I thought they would have been, and I don't think they're people should be as high on them as they are. So I'm definitely taking Duke in the in the ten and a half here. Duke plus ten and a half. John Ryan, you backed Duke last week. Are you going back to the well? I probably will, Jimmy, um, and for all the reasons that Connor just mentioned. Uh, you know, Duke it played very very well last week, and now they got their state rival at home, whether it's basketball, lacrosse, swimming, whatever it is, it's a rivalry and it's mm-hmm. intense. So, um, you know, what I'm seeing with Duke is a, is a steady improvement on the defensive line and uh, the metrics reflect that. And that's one thing that will definitely uh, help beat North Carolina when you're an underdog. Um, you know, third down conversions, uh, UNC has – has, uh, they rank 11th in the nation at 51% conversions, but a lot of those, those situations were not high-pressure situations. Um, they haven't had many of those. Um, in red zone scoring, uh, this illustrates that fact because they've only, uh, they rank 48 scoring on 85% of the red zone. So if you're a top-10 team, like you think you are, you should be, you know, it should be in the 90s uh, for a, a team like that. So, um, you know, the, the, you, the uh, I'm sorry, the Duke defense uh, ranks 42nd in red zone scoring defense. So that matches up nice, too. Uh, so I'm, I like Duke here with the, the double digits. I, you know, like Connor said, I, I just don't think North Carolina is that good. Let's move over to Noli Knows, North Carolina Duke. I mean, uh, not a whole lot that uh, I'm really interested to say in this game, you talk about two teams that don't like to play any defense. You know, you talk, you look at, I look at their their records, I see a lot of O's, a lot of overs, overs, overs. You know, uh, Duke, Duke's been able to move the ball, though. I think that's something that's going to be a cause for concern for North Carolina. You look at what, I mean, losing to Virginia, giving up 44 to Virginia, I thought that's pretty bad. But yeah. I think... Uh, I would, I would agree with what you guys are saying about Duke, but there's nothing that I trust out of Duke either. You know, they're giving up a lot of points. And uh, to me, I think maybe a look at it over here, but not a game I'm interested. 